Welcome to thatscoolwire.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to create, uh, how to take a splitter and create multiple outputs. So in the two examples we're going to show you in this video, this one here will have 18 outputs. So you may have like 18 letters, 18 pieces of EL wire, or a mixture of panels, letters, and EL wire. It's real easy, and we're going to show you how to do this on our website after this demonstration. So to make 18, there's many combinations. Just kind of really think it through. In this case, we're going to take one of our five output splitters. And so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five. Any of our inverters, we just picked one, will fit and connect to any of the splitters. So in this case, we're going to take the power source and we're just going to plug it right into the five output splitter. So when this is turned on, now you have power flowing to these five fingers. So what you can do now is, in this case, we just happen to use a four output splitter here. You can plug it into one of the fingers. So now the power is flowing to these four. And if I connect this four and this four and this three and this three to the rest of the fingers, we're going to end up with an 18 output splitter. Obviously, if you need less than that, then you can go with a four output splitter or a three output splitter and change this combination, but just lay your design out and you'll be able to figure it out. So again, the power, everything will flow through. And if you want to add another level of splitters on top of these fingers, you can. So you can get as creative as you want. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is just move this out of the way. So that was an 18. And here's a seven output. In this case, we're just going to use a two output splitter. And here I have a four output splitter and a three output splitter. So the same concept, we're just going to connect the two output splitter to this four and to this three. And in this case, we just have another power so source here and we plug the power source into there. So now the power is flowing from this two output splitter through this four output and then through this three output. So before I turn the light off to show you, and you probably can see it lighting right now and they're blinking a little bit, let's just say for example you want to have um, this section of EL wire needs to be extended a little bit longer. Well, we sell three foot extensions and all you would do is you would unplug this, so you've taken the four output splitter, we unplugged it, we find the matching connector, we plug it in, take the other end, plug it in. So now we can actually extend this one farther away. So I think at this point in time we're just going to turn the light off so you can kind of see everything lit up. Again, what we're going to do is we will go ahead and uh, show you on the, uh, on the website how to actually order the splitters. One last thing, if you want to have one section of whatever you're doing blinking and one section constant, then you would create two different splitters. So just think of the first inverter, if that's your constant one, then that section will stay on constant and if you, the other section will be blinking if that's what you want to do. Whatever you do with what we're showing you right here, whatever the inverter is doing, it'll go to every letter. So you cannot make these two letters blink unless they're on a separate inverter. So whatever's on this inverter, everything will react the same way. So now we're going to show you how to order the splitter so you can make your combination up. There's three different ways. I'm going to show you what I believe is the absolute easiest and best way. So on the left hand side where all the links are, you're going to click on EL flat panels. Again, you're just going to go to the left side, click on EL flat panels. When this page loads, you're going to find Express Yourself. Click on that. And just click on it one more time. On this page, what you're going to see is all of our letters and characters and numbers. So here you can kind of build if you're going to use letters, characters, or numbers. You, for example, if you needed like three A's, you would just go over to the right side and enter a three right in this box right here. But let's sc scroll down to where the splitters are. OK, 
Okay, you'll see some inverters, but here's some, here are the splitters. So you can put your combinations together. So if you want a three output splitter as your starting point, you would just put your mouse right there and then you're gonna click on one. And then off of those three fingers, you may need three five output splitters. So that will give you a 15 output. So you would just select three. And then if you say add to cart, You can see it right here. You have your one three output splitter and your three five output splitters. And all we did again was we went to EL flat panels. The other way you can do it, because the splitters are good for EL wire or the EL flat panels. or the, So we went to the flat panels. You clicked on Express Yourself. If you want to go to Do It Yourself EL lighting, again, it's on the left-hand side. You're going to click on Accessories. And when the accessories come up, currently it's going to be on page two. Second row down, right here it says EL wire splitters. The issue with on this page is if you only need one splitter, then you're good to go. So here you would do with the drop down box, you either have a two, three, four, or five output splitter. So let's just say we want a three output splitter, add to cart. You have to go back to the same page where you were to now order your second splitter. So we, uh, it's, just, it's just easier if you go to EO Flat Panels and click on Express Yourself. But anyway, thanks for visiting That'sCoolWire.com and we look for serving all of your EL Wire flat panel needs.